Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my name's Paul. I'm gonna be behind the camera doing the narration. That guy up there, his name's Brendan. He's gonna be doing the illustrations for us. And this is our file descriptor, dupe, and dupe to syscall tutorial. Let's do this. All right, what is a file descriptor? When you open a file, the operating system creates an entry in the form of an integer that represents this file and the information it stores. From lecture, you should know that the default file descriptors 0, 1, and 2 represent standard in, standard out, and standard error respectively. That means standard in, standard out, and standard error are each actually a file. The standard in file descriptor is a file that the system reads from. Let's say you use the common command cn name, where name is some variable we have. When the user types in the string, the system writes the string to the standard in file. When you use the common command cout hello, the system actually places the string into the file descriptor that represents standard out, which is then placed in a buffer that gets flushed onto your screen. A common mistake is believing that cout will place the string directly onto your screen. Being placed in a buffer first means that the output gets displayed faster than data that did not go through a buffer. Now standard error is a file descriptor that the system writes to for printing, but unlike standard out, whatever is to be printed is printed right away rather than being placed in the buffer before printing. Alright, on to dupe and dupe2. So dupe and dupe2 are system calls that allow us to change these file descriptors. Let's say we have our standard file descriptors 0, 1, and 2 represented by this box with more unused file descriptors 3, 4, 5, etc. Now imagine each file descriptor as a slot. The system will always read from 0 and write to either 1 or 2 no matter what files are indicated by each slot. By default, 0 is standard in for the terminal, 1 is standard out, and 2 is standard error. Now, if we want to have our system read from a file as input rather than from default standard in, i.e. the keyboard, we have to disconnect the terminal from standard in and connect our file to standard in to replace it. Now, one way is to use dupe. If you are going to need to use standard in later in your program, you will need to save standard in from the terminal into the new file descriptor. By using the system called dupe0, dupe will take what is in file descriptor 0, standard in from the terminal, and duplicate it to the lowest free file descriptor, which in our case happens to be 3, and assign this number to our variable save standard in. Now that the standard in file is saved within file descriptor 3, we are free to fill slot 0 with our own file. Since the system will always read from standard in in slot 0, it will read from our file as standard in instead of standard in from the terminal. Now, let's say standard in from the terminal is needed again so we will restore it using dupe2. By using dupe2 save standard in 0, dupe2 will take what is indicated by save standard in and copy this into slot 0. In our case, save standard in contains standard in from the terminal and we are now restoring standard in aka file descriptor 0 with our standard in from the terminal. At this point we have successfully used dupe to change slot 0 to the file descriptor of our file, effectively replacing standard in from the terminal with standard in with our file. After using our files as input, we then use dupe2 to restore standard in to default standard in from the terminal. Alright guys, that was a lot of standard in, but I think you guys should have got it. Alright, and that's a wrap.